Hello and welcome to the section 3 Analyze ARP and ICMP traffic. Now, in this section, we are going to take a look at various points. We are going to analyze ARP traffic and ICMP traffic. So, let's start with the video ARP and ICMP overview. Now, in this video, we are going to take a look at a couple of points. We are going to learn about ARP and then ICMP. So guys, we are learning about address resolution protocol and internet control message protocol, ARP and ICMP. So first of all, let's take a look at ARP. So what is ARP? ARP is address resolution protocol. And what is the use of ARP? So the address resolution protocol is used to dynamically discover the mapping between the layer 3 and layer 2 address. So a typical use is the mapping of an IP address. For example, if you have IP address, if you want to check the MAC address of that machine, so you can take help of ARP. ARP can provide you the MAC address or the hardware address with the help of IP address. So you can see here, for example, if you have this IP address, you can get information about the MAC address with the help of ARP. If I come down, you can see here that this is a simple example of ARP traffic in Wireshark. So what filter you can use? So you can simply use ARP filter to filter these ARP packets inside your network and then you can analyze it. So this is the basics of ARP that if you have IP address, if you want to get the MAC address or the hardware address, you can take help of ARP. Now next is ICMP. So ICMP is Internet Control Message Protocol. So IP uses ICMP packets to transfer control messages between IP host. For example, if there are five machines are available inside your network. So if you want to check how many machines are alive, so you can send them ICMP packets. And if you get the reply, it means the system is alive. So we can take help of ICMP, Internet Control Message Protocol, between these hosts. This is a simple example of the traffic. If you have performed ping scan, so you will get these packets inside Wireshark. You just need to use ICMP filter in Wireshark to filter these ICMP packets. So you can see here that request reply packets are available here. So with the help of ICMP, you can send control messages between IP host or between machines.